So, you have finally finished your very first map, and you're so proud of it. Good for you, man. You made your Hero Escape map, and you're ready to build it, but you want to share it with everyone you know. Well, here we are. Today is that day. <laughs> and the first step is go into 3D mode. Now the 3D mode looks like three gold bars and you wanna click on that. Once you're in 3D mode, by using your mouse and your arrow keys on your keyboard, by clicking on the screen with your left cursor and moving around with your arrow keys, you can move the camera in any position you would like. You want to find a good angle to showcase your map. Once you have a good angle that you're happy with, you want to click on configuration and head to map parameters. This is where you can type in the battlefield name, your name, if anyone else helps you build it, yeah, in the author section. The amount of players, it's four, mostly sometimes it's two, three, four, and so on. And then in the scenario, which is the bigger box here, uh, you can type in a little description, um, type in what kind of map this is. Um, this is where you can give all the information you want according to the map parameters that you have. Once you're happy with your parameters, you can click OK. Before we go to this next step, there is an optional step that I do recommend you giving a shot. So in the 3D view toolbar, you're gonna see a little camera icon. When you use your cursor and hover over it, it will say high quality. If you click on that, give it a few moments and it will cycle through all the shadows once the background screen goes white, it is complete and will give you a high quality image, giving you very smooth shadows and make the map look just that little chef's kiss. The next step, we wanna go to file and then print overview. This will show you your PDF. Now, it's not the PDF yet. It is time for us to create the PDF. In the top left corner of the print overview, you will see a small rectangle box that says print. Click on that and another dialog box will pop up. And in the names tab, head to Microsoft print to PDF. Once this is selected, told the computer and virtual escape to make your file a PDF. Now click on OK. Give it a moment and another dialog box will pop up and you can save this PDF to whichever folders you like. We have our PDF with the instructions on how to build your map. How do we share it? The best place to share your HeroScape map is on HeroScapers.com. On HeroScapers.com, and in order to share your map, you do need to have a HeroScapers.com account, which is very easy to set up. Now that you've logged in, onto heroscapers.com. You should be on the front page and head down to maps and battlefields. Now scroll down a little bit more on the maps and battlefields form and you should see in the left hand corner, new thread. Type in a title for your new thread and now we can begin sharing your maps. In order to make your map thread, give it a little more pizzazz I recommend you making a thumbnail for your map. This is an image that showcases what your map will look like. When uploading your PDF file to heroescapers.com, you will only be giving them a link to the map PDF. This image allows the viewer to check out a quick glimpse of what your map looks like. I personally use a free photoshopping program called GIMP. I will leave this link to GIMP in the description below. Once you've created your thumbnail for your map, I recommend using Imager, 
which is a social networking website for images. You do have to make an account for Imgur in order to use it. It is simple and easy to do. In the top left corner of the Imgur website, there will be an icon for new post. Just follow the instructions on the screen and you can upload your image there. Once your image is uploaded, in the top right corner of your image, there will be a three dots icon. Click on that and then a drop down menu will appear. Click on get share links. A dialog box will pop open. We will need the BBC code forums link and then click on the copy link button. Before we go back to heroescapers.com with that copy link from Imgur, let's go to Google Drive. Sign into your Google Drive account and head to the big plus sign that says new. This is where you're going to upload your PDF files from Virtualscape. Once your PDF is uploaded to Google Drive, you're going to right click and head to share. A dialog box should pop up and head over to general access section of that dialog box and click on restricted and change it to anyone with the link. Then click copy link. With this link as well as your imager BBC code link, we can now go back to your forum on heroescapers.com and add those links to your forum. Make sure that when you're on your Heroescapers forum page, head to the bottom of the page and click on edit. This is where we are going to put in your links for your map. To make things look nice and fancy for your Heroescapers map forum, we're going to start with typing in the name of your map. We're going to use this name as a hyperlink. To do this, highlight the name of your map. We are going to go to the Heroescapers forum toolbar and click on the world logo with the chain link icon. Once you click on that, a dialog box on the top of your screen will pop up. This is where you paste your Google Drive shareable link. Click OK and your hyperlink is good to go. Now right underneath your map name hyperlink, we're going to add your imager BBC code forum link which is for your thumbnail. No need to click on anything from the toolbar. You can simply copy and paste from the Imgur website right to the form text box. Head to the bottom of your form, click on save, and you can test it out. Make sure that your image comes up nice and clean, as well as click on your hyperlink and make sure it goes right to your PDF. And there you have it. For an added bonus, to keep your Heroescapers form neat and tidy, here's a quick spoiler for that exact purpose. Add spoiler just like this in the front of whatever you want to hide, and then spoiler again just like this to close it out and hide everything in between both spoilers. That quick tip will keep your form looking neat and tidy for everyone to enjoy all the information you have to share. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. Please leave a like and a comment and ring that notification bell and make sure you subscribe. And don't forget, I am not crazy. I'm Joe Crazy. Peace.